in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Atrial fibrillation being very common, there's lots of people who need anticoagulation or some sort of therapy to prevent the stroke formation. It is believed that more than 90% of the clot in so-called non-valvular atrial fibrillation actually occurs in one particular area which is called left atrial appendage. So if you can safely seal it off this area, then you don't need to take strong blood thinners. Here when we talk about blood thinner, we are not talking about aspirin or clopidogrel. We are talking about something which is called anticoagulants which much, are much more potent or much more stronger. So we are talking about warfarin and we are talking about newer drugs. So when people take this drug, there is tendency to bleed. So in, uh, as an alternative, this procedure is done. Now who are the patients whom we do this procedure? It can be done in people with atrial fibrillation who have taken these drugs and who have already bled. There are lots of people who take warfarin and other drugs and they do develop bleeding tendencies in whom this procedure can be done. It can also be done in people who are likely to bleed. So imagine there is somebody who has a liver problem who is likely to bleed or who has had history of bleeding ulcer or who has had you know brain hemorrhage or bleeding anywhere. So these are the patients who are likely to be in whom we can do. It can also be done in people who have renal failure where uh, by taking drugs like warfarin when they are on dialysis becomes very very difficult. So this is a good candidate for them. It can be done for people who have had recurrent stroke on anticoagulation. It can also be done in people who have undergone angioplasty now require two antiplatelets and adding a third anticoagulant would produce lots of bleeding. It can also be done as an alternative to anticoagulation. So there are lots of indication for this procedure. What you should remember is this is not a treatment for atrial fibrillation itself. It's a treatment to prevent clot in atrial fibrillation. Hence it is an alternative to anticoagulation. So that means patient with atrial fibrillation will continue to be in atrial fibrillation but that can be their heart rate can be controlled with drugs. But a strong blood thinner can be avoided if they undergo a left atrial appendage closure.